Day one of what will be a long and disturbing trial, and the Crown attorney spared few details, warning the jury that what they will see and hear will be graphic and disturbing. It's a warning that Tory's family was prepared for. Nothing could be any worse than what I'd imagined all along anyway. The nine men and three women sat facing the accused Michael Rafferty. He looks only slightly like his pre-arrest self, dressed in a suit, but appearing casual at times. Tory's father finding it difficult to watch, but he says he will continue to be a presence in court for his little girl. Her name should be, if not bigger than Michael Rafferty's. It's the innocence of an eight-year-old da daughter, little girl taken in comparison to this monster, alleged monster. Um, no, Tory, Tory's got to be out there more. Early in the day, the judge addressed the jury, giving them instructions on what their job will be for the next two to three months. Then a sudden break from proceedings for a reason to be revealed before the first witness. By afternoon, Crown Attorney Kevin Gowdy was addressing the jury, relating the story of how surveillance video showed Tori Stafford being led away from her school by a woman in a white jacket on April 8, 2009. It was a woman we now know to be convicted murderer Terry Lynn McClintock, a woman who will serve as the Crown's key witness, an essential part of what happened. The jury was told the person who helps may be as guilty as the person with the murder weapon. The defense suggesting their side may prove otherwise. No, there are no particular surprises uh, except perhaps uh, the things that were left unsaid. Several times the court heard that young Tory's body was found wrapped in garbage bags outside of Guelph, Ontario. The little girl naked from the waist down wearing only a favorite Hannah Montana t-shirt and the butterfly earrings she begged her mother to borrow. That was the first day she would walk home alone from school but would never make it. Instead, her body was found in a rock pile, killed by severe blows to the head. Now, Tori's mother was here at the court today, but because she will serve as a witness in the days or weeks to come, she's not yet allowed to see or hear any of the proceedings in the courtroom. Now, the Crown did confirm one other thing today. They told the jury that they will be taking a road trip. They will travel to Guelph, Ontario, to the very site where little Tori's body was found in July of 2009. Anne. All right. Laura Zilke from London tonight. Thank you.